Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is can character step up on. If we look at our nodes, we have this graph here, and we have a node called can character step up. Now I say step up and step on because it interchangeably uses them, which is kind of annoying, but it's the way it works. It takes in a target of a primitive component. It takes in a pawn if it's going to want to step on this component, for example. You want to compare the two. And then it gives you back a true or false. If you don't put in a pawn, it's going to use whatever it's on. In this case, it's on my character itself. So I'm going to go and run this. And I'm going to fire at a couple things. So you can see over here, this says true. You can see my character here has false. This item here is true. This character is true. And this item's false. And of course, the ground itself is going to be true. The biggest thing for this is it lets you know whether or not the Boolean for, well, not the Boolean, but it's an enumeration, can, can character step up and on, is turned on. If we look at our character, we'll look at this cube. We'll type in step, and you'll find, can character step up on? Yes, no, or owner. Owner is the override, which means if you have this component along with other items, the owner's value is what overrides this one. We can see that here, if we click on our NPC, we can see the mesh is set to owner and the capsule component, which is above it, is going to be no in this case. And that's why we got back false. Whereas this one here, we can see the mesh is set to yes and the capsule component is set to yes. I could set this to no or owner. It's gonna keep it separately, but when I do the actual check, it's gonna go against the base object itself, the owner, which is the capsule, which is what we're gonna hit. Now, the biggest thing this lets us do is it kind of rejects the player if the player tries to get up on it. If we go up out here on this box, we're not going to have an issue. If I try to jump on this character here, it's going to force him off. It doesn't matter where I come from, I, it's not going to let me stay on this character. and It's going to try to push it off. Now, if I jump on this character, which is set to, yes, I can step on it. Well, that's just me having a really crappy time jumping. Let's try that again. There we go. You notice I'm on the player itself. I'm not being rejected off. If I shoot it, you can see true. Yes, I'm allowed to. This one's false. I'll try to jump on it, and you'll notice I get bounced off. So that's a way of having a rejection system set up when actors try to walk onto other items. Now, there is something you can do. There is an overridable option. If you read it itself, it tells you walkable slope override. We type in walk. It allows you to override the default settings. You can actually... Disable or enable walkable slopes. You can change the angle. This is advanced stuff. This is completely separate. But just an FYI, if you want to change the things and you're using the can character walk on ability, you have the ability to change what, how much they can and cannot walk on it. And that's it. That's the basics. That's your can character step up on. This node itself is a check. It tells you true or false on a component, whether they can step up on it, whether the toggle step up on is enabled or not and you change those settings on the actual items that have collision and allows you to change those can they step up on 